First chance fell to Gillingham, top scorer Marlon King failing to add to his 13-goal tally in the very first minute. West Brom then took full advantage of some poor Gillingham defence, Adrian Pennock headed back pass woefully short of the keeper, and Lee Hughes nipped in and lobbed the stranded Vince Bartram. Eight minutes later, a Pennock foul on Bob Taylor conceded a free kick, and the ex-Chelsea player Nick Clement took full advantage and increased Albion's lead. Gillingham got back into the match after 35 minutes when skipper Paul Smith's raking pass was headed on by Mark Patterson and Ify O'Neura applied the finishing touch. It was Ify's fifth goal in his last three home matches at Priestfield. Gillingham's danger man, Nicky Southall, set up another good chance. His cross headed on by Chris Pope to O'Neura, which brought a fine reaction save from Albion keeper Russell Holt. Gillingham failed to break down the Albion defence in the second half and it remained Gillingham 1, West Brom Albion 2.